I spoke to you about boundaries. Continuing from where I left off, thank you for those who watched the video and were blessed by it. So what happens after the fact if your boundaries are not put properly in place and you've fallen into sexual sin? You determined not to kiss before marriage, and then you did. You found yourself in a sexual conversation, even though you knew that it was wrong. You sent nude pictures and had nude video sessions with the opposite sex. You masturbated. You watched porn. You had sex with somebody. So what's next? Well, this is what's next. The devil is going to come at you with a strong voice of condemnation. He's going to rewind your mistake over and over and over again. He is going to make you feel so bad and worthless. You are going to be filled with so much shame if you are a Christian. Because you know that sexual sin is wrong, but somehow you fell into it. And guilt and shame will beset you. And let me tell you that anyone from the pastor to the worship leader to the congregation can fall into sexual sin. This is why I had to do a teaching on boundaries. But maybe you fell into sexual sin before I did that video and you are living in deep regret. I have come with a message of freedom to you. When Jesus died for our sins, he basically shut up the devil for us. So allowing yourself to listen to the devil's condemnation means that you are disregarding the effectiveness of what Christ did for you. The devil is a liar. Christ died for our sins. When we fall into sin, we are to run to him in repentance. Now, let me make something clear to you. Repentance is not a superficial sorrow. It goes deep. It means that you are truly sorry for your sin and refuse to do so again. You hate what you did and you are sorrowful that you have sinned against God. 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10 says, For godly sorrow produces repentance leading to salvation. So get up from your sinful state. Know that Christ died for you and he loves you. Ask Jesus for forgiveness and then set up boundaries, just as I taught you in last week's video. Stay away from who is leading you to sin. Throw away materials that you are watching or reading that are dirtying up your mind and subsequent actions. 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Isaiah 43 25 says, I, even I, am He who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. Wow, doesn't that give you comfort? Jesus does not look at your past, so stop looking at it. Get up from your sinful yesterday. Get on your knees in repentance and say, Jesus, I am sorry. Help me and have mercy upon me. Jesus loves you so much. Come on back to him. He will help you overcome a sinful life by the power of the Holy Spirit. I am here today to assure you of his love. You are the reason that Christ died. That moment that you fell into sin and the devil wants you to believe it is all over. Romans 5, 8 says, but God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jeremiah 31 3 tells you that you are loved with an everlasting love. So who are you going to believe? God or Satan? Get up. 
It's a new day. Jesus loves you. Repent and set up boundaries. Can you do me a favor? Read Luke chapter 15 and feel Christ's love for you. Get up, repent, and actively work on your relationship with Jesus. He strengthens you and gives you wisdom to depart from a sinful life that is set up by the enemy, the devil, to ensnare you and derail you. Take your weaknesses to Jesus and change what you need to change in your life. His Holy Spirit purifies you daily. So establish your relationship by reading the Word of God, being prayerful, go in the church and actually be in the church. Yes, you are the church of Christ when you are living a life of obedience to God. When you are living a life of followership, where you truly love the Lord and you are becoming Christ-like because His Holy Spirit will take over you and change you. So those weaknesses, take it to Him. Set up boundaries. Be accountable. And you will be fine. If you need to discuss anything with me, you can email me. Has to be at pastorbell.com. I am here with the Lord Christ. I will never sit in the place of condemnation. We are all saved by grace. I know how the world works. I have to mention He is alive. Don't listen to his voice of information. Just come on back to Jesus. Dedicate your life to Him and choose the right path. Be in the right company. I've always said it, be careful who your friends are. Be careful what you do. Be careful where you go. Be careful what you watch. Be careful what you listen to. All these things are guaranteed to lure you into a sinful life. So set up boundaries and work on your relationship with God. And each and every day you will continually overcome the evil traps of the enemy and the pleasures of the flesh. And this is my prayer for you. My declaration over you is you are blessed, you are healed, you are delivered, and you are set free. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. If this video has been a blessing to you, hit the like button Stay subscribed and share. God loves you and I love you. God bless you.